variety of theories for the emergence of bipedalism among our hominin ancestors have been explored. Here we'll explore a hypothesis that was initially proposed by Charles Darwin and later elaborated on by Raymond Dart. The debate continues to this day. The story begins with the environment and how it affected local environments such as those in East Africa. Some 20 million years ago during the Miocene, the Asian and Indian continental plates collided and produced the Himalayan mountains or the Tibetan plateau. In addition to the development of the Tibetan plateau, plate tectonics were tearing Africa apart and the Rift Valley emerged. The Tibetan plateau absorbs solar energy and causes global convection currents. As hot air rises off of the Tibetan plateau, hot air from other regions is pulled back into the plateau region. This process pulled moisture out of East Africa and produced drier forests. As forest sizes reduced and created areas of savanna, the economics of our early ancestor was impacted. Distance between resources had increased. Devoid of thick forests, the hot beating sun forced adaptive changes. Hydration became a challenge. Shade, a pride resource on the savanna, was limited. Large predators had cornered the market on shade, so to speak. Acquiring resources during cooler periods of the day was also a possibility. However, the risks were great because large predators dominated dawn, dusk, and the evening. Somewhere around 8 million years ago, there was a mutation that allowed new behavioral patterns to emerge. Our hominin ancestors benefited from this mutation. They walked differently than other great apes. They balanced on two legs, and they didn't rely on their forelimbs to walk. The mutation changed the relationship between the hominin body, solar radiation, and resource distribution. Hominins began to explore, exploit, resources during warmer periods of the day and covered more distance as they searched for food. Over the next million years, success increased and the new way of moving was transmitted from one successful generation to the next and it eventually became the norm and it shaped our evolutionary history as the fossil record illustrates. <laughs>